was a dear friend of mine. We were colleagues in the assembly. Meeting in the assembly, our friendship grew. We got to know each other much better. And in him, I saw a leader who, whose most important issue at heart was Goa. He walked the extra mile to ensure that Goa did not lack in the field of infrastructure. He had, he had proposed many a thing which today we may be seeing the fruit of it. For example, Zawari Bridge. For example, Mandovi Bridge. Though Mandovi Bridge was inaugurated towards the last few years, the last few days in life. In the field of education, I know that field was also very dear to him and that is why he kept that portfolio with himself. Why did he do that? It's because he felt that students of today are leaders of tomorrow. And in order to ensure the upliftment of the state, the upliftment of, this people, of the people, one had to ensure that the best education was given to them. For those, the student of today is a leader of tomorrow. With the commencement of this institute, which has been inaugurated today, I think the preparedness of our youth is, is furthered as if you go through the subjects that are being offered here, they are all pertaining to the local need, be it in the field of environment, be it in uh, social, social welfare, law, various courses are going to be conducted here which I believe, as I said earlier, is the need of the hour. It is with people from these type of institutes that even people like us in government are going to be enlightened. So I wish this institute all the best. And while saying that, I believe this is the best tribute that could be paid to our late leader, Manohar Parikar. Because these subjects were also dear to him. And therefore, I wish Goa University, I congratulate Goa University for taking the initiative. Yes, government of Goa has also contributed in terms of money. But had they not to take the initiative, government of Goa would not have come forward to give whatever, I think 22 crores or something like that was sanctioned here. 21 crores. So all that money has come because of the initiative of the university. And therefore I congratulate our Vice-Chancellor and his team of education.